Oh, look at this new display, Winky Lux. Uh, strobing Balm Highlighter, 16. Blotting Sheets, Glitter Puff. What is Glitter Puff? Glitter Spray for Body, Face, and Hair. Okay. Uh, lip Balms, most of these are sold out. They have purple and pink. Those are 18 or 16. Matte Lip Velour Lipstick. Ooh, I'm tempted to try one of these. Heart Meow Mermaid. Perfect, perfect pout sheer lipstick. Those are the colors up there. Creamy Dreamies Lipstick. Glossy Boss Lip Gloss. Those are the colors. I like Unicorn Tears. Those are 16. You have Disco Lip Gloss. Wow, look at those. Look at that. You guys know Target's lighting is not the best for makeup, but those are really pretty. You see that? Really nice. Um, so Extra Mascara right here for 16. Unibrow Pencil and Eyeliner. Here's a Kitten Palette. Those are the colors. This was 25. That's the cashmere kitten. It looks like they're out of the, let me see, what is that? They're out of the coffee kitten palette, which was browns. This one over here looks like that. Mermaid kitten palette was down here. Okay. It's like turquoises and teals. And then they're out of the Latte Kitten Palette, which looks like browns. And then they have these over here as well. Dream Gel Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. I don't see the price on that one. You have a Whipped Cream Primer. Ooh, that sounds fun. Look at that. Looks like whipped cream. They had Sugared Matcha Lip Scrub, which is gone. Peeper Perfect Under Eye Concealers are 16. White Tea Tinted Veil Moisturizer. Uh, those are 28. More of those. Diamond Powder Foundation for 22. And they have that in light. Medium, the medium is sold out. They have medium, deep, deep, 
and then some bronzers down here latte bronzer mocha bronzer and espresso this display is super cute though did get a bag of stuff that I wanted to share with you guys so mainly all of the stuff I picked up was like beauty I don't want to say beauty essentials but like healthcare stuff uh, for between me the how pretty much the house whoever needs it so I'm gonna share with you guys the stuff that I picked up but first of all I wanted to say I really like that wink winky was it winky Lux that winky Lux display that was super cute um, yeah, did you guys see all the shelves were wiped out for the Lysol? Like any kind of antibacterial product everywhere is gone. I mean, Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, everywhere is gone. <sighs> this is crazy. <laughs> um, even the toilet paper. I'm like, wait a minute, toilet paper? Okay. So anyways, I'm not going to get all into that. I'm going to sh uh, pull out the stuff that I purchased today at Target and show you guys. Okay, I'm going to start with this just so I can get it out the way because I needed another blender. Um, I left my other blender 
when I moved because the glass broke as we were moving it actually dropped so we've been here this whole time without a blender and one of my sons he's like mom i need to make smoothies <laughs> so i've been i've been taking him to go get smoothies and like little things like that at this company but i'm like okay i need to just go on and go get a blender so we can make our own smoothies and stuff i like strawberry banana and blueberry like a little mix um he makes all kind of stuff so i went ahead and got this one i did a, i was looking at a few of them and this was the one that i just decided to go with i think it was 39 dollars, so that wasn't too bad uh it's a two-in-one system and it comes with a blend and go cup so by oster and it's probably not the best but all we really do with this is make smoothies so i figured this would be okay Okay, so the only other non-beauty uh, item I got was, let me make sure I'm saying that right, I think so, um, was this Dawn Platinum Power Wash Dish Spray, and I showed you guys this the last time I walked through Target, and I was like, ooh, when did they create a, um, a power wash spray? And I just wanted to try it, spray, wipe, and rinse, that's what it says, so I'm going to try this out and see if I like it. It says five times faster grease cleaning, so yeah i went ahead and grabbed that okay there was one more thing <laughs> I, i'm looking around i'm like i forgot okay so where was i at, at the dollar spot they had those cute cups i was ready to pick up the cup that said she believed she could but she was tired that one i almost brought that home with me and then i was standing there telling myself self you know you don't need no more cups she knows she don't need no more cups <laughs> so i was happy i looked down and they had the socks that said that so she believed she could but she was tired i should have had these on was that yesterday <laughs> man i was tired so these are just a dollar from the dollar spot so i grabbed them okay so moving into the beauty items i always pick up dr teal's the pure epsom salt i really like the coconut oil one this one right here i've tried other ones they work good but it's something about the coconut oil it kind of leaves my skin like moisturized um i don't take too many baths because you guys know if you remember my house walk my house tour i just have that really nice big shower in there i don't have a tub which i can't stand but um so when i feel like it i'll go either in the kids bathroom and clean it or go downstairs to that bathroom and i'll sit and take a bath and i'll usually use this one right here because i love it or i also use this when i'm doing my foot soak um for my pedicures if i'm not using like a bath bomb from lush or something like that i will use this so this one is my go-to i love the coconut oil two new items that i'm trying out are these bior uh facial cleansers and one is for me one is for my daughter i think i picked her up this one the blue aguave it says blue aguave plus baking soda great for combination skin penetrates pores plus uh gently exfoliates and she has really good skin but i'm noticing that she is starting to get a few bumps or whatnot uh, so I wanted to get this for her to try. I'm not real big on using a lot of different products. Um, I'll get into that in a minute, but I'm not too big on using a lot of different products for your face. Um, so I was kind of torn on if I even wanted to start her down that journey, but, um, we're going to try it and see. And then I, for me, I tr I'm going to try this one and it's the Rose Quartz and uh it says rose quartz and charcoal deep cleans and radiates self-love daily purifying cleanser so it says don't be dirty <laughs> so i picked up both of these for me and her to try if you've seen one of my favorites videos i usually have a um body scrub from tree hut tree hut is one of my favorite body scrub uh companies or companies that creates body scrubs because i like the thicker granules of sugar uh when i'm using a scrub and they have it uh there's i've i've tried many exfoliates some of them are good some of them are not but tree hut is the one i always go to and i like to try their new fragrances this one is coco colada so it's a shea it just says shea sugar scrub made with shea butter pineapple and coconut so i'm assuming this is just going to uh, smell like pineapples and coconut so i picked this up because yeah i had to try this one 
Another two items that I've never tried before was the St. Ives body soap. And I got one for me, one for my daughter. Uh, this, this one I think I picked for me. It's the Sea Salt and Pacific Kelp Exfoliating Body Wash. It says made with 100% natural exfoliant. And these are on sale. They're two for $7. So I smelled it. These were the two that smelled the best. So I went ahead and got them. Um, I'm excited to try this. One of my things about body soap... We love sea salt and Pacific kelp. Okay, and I do like St. Ives products. This one is pink lemon and mandarin orange. And what I was about to say was one thing that I, I is one of my things that I hate about body washes is like if I use a body wash and it leaves that um kind of like, it feels like a thick film on me. Like after I rinse myself off, if I feel like there's like that, I don't know, it's like a like a film left over on me. I hate it. I will never use it again. So I'm hoping this one doesn't like that. I actually like soaps that uh, make me feel squeaky clean. And I'm getting ready to show you a soap that does that. Uh, so these body washes tend to kind of not do that. They They make me feel clean, but then they make me feel... I don't know. <laughs> it sounds weird, but you know, trying to explain it to you guys is like, okay, it feels like I'm not all the way clean. Um, just because I like my skin to have that dry feeling to where when I get out, I do need to put lotion on because you know, but I know that I got clean if that makes sense. So anyways, I'm gonna try this one out. I'm not gonna go on and on about this. And then I got this one for my daughter, like I said, because it's a uh, pink lemon and mandarin orange and it's a natural exfoliant. Uh, they both say that and it smells so good. This one smells like grapefruit. I absolutely love it. And these are 22 fluid ounces. Okay, so this is the soap that I was talking about that makes me feel super duper clean. I have um, more packages of these in the bathroom. I keep these and while everybody is running out there buying, see I shouldn't say that because then my soap is going to be off the shelves. Um, but anyways, while everybody is running around buying antibacterial this and that, they're forgetting about soap to wash your body. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Dow Gold Antibacterial Soap and I first knew that I love this soap years and years and years and years ago. I've been using it for years and it's an antibacterial soap so if you do not like a soap that kind of gets you kind of like dry like like you know that you know you don't have no residue on you you're just dry <laughs> but you have to put lotion on after that then you want to get this and um i started using this after my first son so that tells you how long and i told you guys he is about to be 27 but um yeah so then i also picked up the nivea in shower body lotion so after i'm done using this i can go ahead and put this on um and this is just a lotion that you you know put on your body while you're in the shower because if you're like me I get a little lazy after I take a shower and sometimes I just don't feel like have you ever done this you get out the shower you don't put lotion on and you're like oh I'm just gonna put my pajamas on and go to bed right and then you wake up in the morning and say maybe you're in a rush or something and you feel like you want to throw on these little shorts or a little dress or something and then you might step out the house and realize your legs was ashy or your feet was ashy <laughs> so to avoid all of that while I'm in the shower, I'll just use something like this. I do still have the one that I use from Lush as well, which I absolutely love. But if I'm not using that product, I will use this one. Be very careful with these kind of products because as it's draining down your body, um, as you're, you know, if you don't have a shower mat on the floor, you can potentially slip and fall. And I'm telling you that ahead of time. If you've never used one of these, be very careful if you're using the in shower uh, moisturizers. Moving on, I did pick up some new toothbrushes. This one has a is a pack of two, and it's just the Oral B, nothing fancy, medium. And then this one is Oral B Extra Soft, and it has a smaller head on it. And this one is for Pooh Bear. I don't really buy him like those little kitty toothbrushes, cause mm -mm, I just buy him a regular nice toothbrush. Um, it's soft, so it's good for him. I did pick up some Q-tips gotta have q-tips in the house between q-tips and these 
I have to have them. Have to, have to. So, um, yeah, I was running low on these. So, I always pick up the Glide Scope. I've tried other ones. I don't like them. I've tried the ones from Dollar Tree. I don't like them. Um, it's something about just using them. The, the thing, the little string, the floss, it, it'll pop off like from other, like other brands and stuff. So, I definitely stick to this one right here. That's my go-to. Then um, I showed you guys this while I was walking in the store. I've never ever seen this before and it's the li limited edition Listerine zero alcohol, but it's coconut and lime blend. I don't even know why I wanted to try this because it's different coconut and lime <laughs> Listerine. So I went ahead and picked that up. Then I was able and they literally had probably six of these left. In the front in this little area like a little basket that was hidden on a shelf there was six antibacterial dial soaps like this so I picked up two I wasn't gonna be greedy and try to get them all I went ahead and picked up two of these and these were the spring water then I got myself some uh, Colgate optic white renewal toothpaste uh, because it says removes 10 years of yellow stains and you know i don't feel like i don't smoke or anything but i feel like sometimes i feel like my teeth might be you know because of the coffee like some days i just feel like ooh, i need to do a whitening so i just went ahead and picked this one up just to see how that one is going to work did you oh what did you guys think about the the toothpaste that i showed you that had the cannabis oil in it i was like god they're making cannabis everything right now so yeah then i got this this is for shaving i like the venus one uh yeah i just like that one this one is very moisturizing so i i tend to grab that one uh, i got a two pack of degree i mean secret i i usually get degree sometimes but i got secret uh powder fresh i only like powder fresh deodorant i can't do all them other ones uh i did get the big soleil twilight razors and it only has the three blades on it i normally like the five blades they didn't have them so i had to settle and get these but if if i have my choice i get five blades this is the soap that i use for Pooh bear the aveno moisturizing uh soap and so yeah this is lightly scented it doesn't really have a fragrance to it but I like to keep his skin moisturized. So this is the one that I go to. And I also use the soap. Um, this soap. I mean this lotion for him as well. So the next item I picked up. It is um, some face wash. Now a lot of you guys ask me. What do I use to clean my skin? And what I want to say to you guys. Is without sounding all like. Um, like oh I don't use makeup. Not trying to be like that. But I don't. I don't wear a whole lot of makeup. You guys know that already. Um, I feel like less is more in my opinion. Um, I was a late, I was a late, do I want to say bloomer? I was a, it was a, I had a late start as far as makeup. So I didn't even start wearing eyeliner and stuff until I was like in my twenties. I didn't start wearing foundation until I was probably like 30. <laughs> so, um, before that, I mean, all I would do is just wash my face with this soap that I'm getting ready to show you. I would put some lotion on and that would be it. Like, I never, ever put a whole lot of stuff on my face. I don't really like to use masks because a lot of these products that you're using or that people are using has a lot of chemicals in there. So, if you imagine you're going from putting a mask on, you're putting primer on, then you're putting foundation on, then you're putting something on top of that, and then you're spritzing your face with the, all this stuff and so to me that's why even my daughter she ain't about to be she don't even like makeup but she follows my routine and her skin is clear so this is the soap that i use when i i'll use any face wipe like a regular wipe even from dollar tree just to wipe what little bit of stuff that i do have on my face i wipe my face um you know with the wipe throw it away and then I'll take one of these. This is my favorite soap to use for my face. I'll take one of these and I'll just turn on some warm water in the sink. I'll run this, rub this on my hands and then I'll kind of go like this. I don't really use a towel uh, to wash my face. I just go like this with my hands and then after I'm done, I just 
wash you know use the water splash it on my face and then i'll use a drying towel to kind of pat my skin clear if i feel like i had on a lot more makeup that day then i will take a cotton ball with some rubbing alcohol and i'll make sure my skin is completely clean of any like dirt or any any makeup left over or whatever so between this and rubbing alcohol that's it that's it for me <laughs> uh now if my skin feels too dry after doing that whole routine this will be the first time that i'm using this normally i would just use like any kind of like lotion for my face nothing that has perfume in it maybe like the aveeno so i'll use this brand of lotion for my face as a moisturizer but i did pick this up this time and it's the saint ives hydrating face moisturizer in avocado so that's my skincare routine i know a lot of you guys ask and cleansing wipes i did pick up and this is like something that i would just you know clean my face off and then go in with my soap and some lotion after that and that's it so these are watermelon it says hydrates while lifting away dirt and makeup oil free hydration and there's 25 wipes so that's everything that i picked up from target as far as beauty care i just needed to re-up on a lot of this stuff right now um there is a few more things that i needed to get but it was i didn't see it on the shelves so i'll probably have to go to another target or maybe try walmart um, but for now, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming with me to Target. And I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I knew you was ready.